You gotta love the modern era where you can take an already capable car, get tons of power out of its engine for a relatively low cost and with minimal effort. Today I'll be showing you guys five amazing cars you can cheaply tune to gain a huge amount of power. I also decided to diversify the list and include cars with different price points, some that most people can afford and others not so much. Real quick guys, before the video begins, almost every single day I get the same question in the comment section asking me, Christian, what website do you use to get those great deals on used cars like the ones that you feature on your videos? Well guys, the website that I use is Auto Tempest and a big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Nothing is more frustrating than going from car buying website to car buying website just to try to find a good deal on a car. Just use Auto Tempest. It serves as a one-stop shop by searching all the top car sales websites like cars.com, car Google and eBay Motors all in one place. And check this out, you can even compare results with Craigslist, not just locally, but nationwide as well. Since Auto Tempest searches everywhere for you, not only do you save lots of time, which is one thing you can't get back, but you'll also find the best deal. I highly encourage you guys to give autotempest.com a shot, and if you find it as useful as I did, make sure and share it with somebody that you know is looking to buy a used car. I'll make sure and leave a link to their website down in the description below. And now, let's begin the video. The first car on the list is the Infiniti Q50, and if you're more of a coupe type person, then you can opt in for the Q60 instead. Either way, you can't go wrong with either of them. They both come equipped with a highly capable 3 liter turbocharged engine that is begging to be tuned. It's a relatively new engine from Nissan that has managed to captivate lots of attention among enthusiasts and it has been carving its way within the tuning market with new aftermarket parts coming out regularly. While I do agree with others that the asking price for both the Q50 and especially the Q60 are a bit high, I believe that after a few years they'll become used car bargains for those that want a modern car for tuning. Ideally, you'd want to get the base version versions of the Q50 or the Q60 instead of the more expensive Red Sport variant. One, because you'll save ten dollars to $15,000 which can go towards aesthetics and performance mods, and two, because with an upgraded heat exchanger combined with a simple tune that adjusts camshaft timing, boost output and air fuel ratios, you can make the base version of those two cars much faster than the Red Sport variants. So check this out, a Q50 or a Q60 Red Sport engine produces 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque, and the base version produces 300 horsepower and 295 pound-feet to torque. For $2,400, you can get a Red Alpha Stage 1 Performance Package offered by AMS Performance that includes the tune and a heat exchanger, and the increase in power you get from the base 3 liter engine is freaking insane. 415 horsepower and a whopping 475 pound feet of torque. And guys, that is not crank numbers, that's to the wheels. That's like over 415 horsepower and 530 pound feet of torque to the crank. With those numbers, you'll easily walk a Red Sport. Honestly, I'd probably only recommend the Red Sport if you don't want to tune the car and void the manufacturer's warranty but at the same time you want more power than the base version other than that i don't think the extra amount of money is worth it if you're looking to tune it overall these two cars are pretty amazing in my opinion and i feel like as depreciation starts to kick in they will become more and more favorable to own they have massive tuning potential they look great especially the q60 with its modern exterior styling and tech focus interior and for all of those that despise german cars for whatever reason well here are two alternatives that have just as much potential when it comes to performance the second car in the this is a Volkswagen Golf R. I'm primarily referring to the Mark 7. While the previous generations can be just as tunable as the modern ones, you'd have to dump much more money into them if you're looking to get crazy performance out of them. Let's say you wanted 500 horsepower, which seems to be the sweet spot for these type of cars. You would have to go for a much bigger turbo setup and forged internals. But things are different and simple now with the Mark 7 Golf R. The third gen 2 liter TSI engine responds beautifully to tuning without having to play operation in the actual engine. The Golf R's 2 liter turbo engine in stock form produces 288 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, which doesn't sound like much in today's standard, but you gotta keep in mind that this hot hatch isn't very heavy, only weighing around 3,200 pounds. Let's say you want to reach 500 horsepower to the crank with the Golf R. Well, it's pretty straightforward and most importantly, won't break the bank. The most expensive mod would cost you around $2,600 and that is a Revo IS38 ETR turbocharger, which is essentially a modified version of the stock turbocharger, with the internals replaced and restrictive parts redesigned to allow higher boost. You'll then pair with an aftermarket front mount intercooler, front mount intercooler pipe upgrade, air intake, and a high flow exhaust system, and bam, you'll be well into or close to 500 horsepower. With those numbers on a hot hat, body such as the Golf R, you'll be embarrassing most people you encounter out on the open road. Of course, if the Golf R isn't quite in your budget, you can always opt in for the GTI as well, which is just as tuner friendly and to be honest, probably has a bigger selection of aftermarket parts when it comes to both aesthetics and performance, since it's more obtainable by most people. Either way, you can't go wrong with either. 
either of them. The third car on the list is the Mercedes E63 S AMG. Yes, this car is definitely more on the pricier side compared to the previous cars I mentioned, but remember, this isn't a list on cheap cars, but more so cars you can tune cheaply for lots of power. Typically, when most people think of a modern E-Class, fast is not really the first thing that comes to mind, but add the abbreviation AMG to it and things change. This luxury sleeper can accelerate and catch speeds that will scare the hell out of you. It also has a drift mode that sends all the power to the rear wheels, which will allow you to happily slide around, and then once you're done having fun for the day, you can cruise back in comfort and silence. Not many cars can mix the best of both worlds like the E63 S AMG can. Alright, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. The twin turbo 4 liter V8 it comes equipped with produces 6 603 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque stock that already is some big performance numbers to start with so how much power can you get out of this handmade power plant by tuning it let's just say the potential is insane an ecu flash from rentec can transform this already capable sleeper into something even more outrageous the 3500 rentec tune and nothing else will increase the horsepower to 773 horsepower and 778 pound feet of torque to the crank guys just a tune that takes a few minutes to install and nothing else gets you that much performance gain that's insane according to some performance tests rentec ran in house without the tune the e63s amg managed to achieve a 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds and with the tune that number was shaved down to 2.8 seconds that's a straight up supercar slayer on the open road and the best part is that most people wouldn't even know when they see this car out on the streets the only feature that gives it away are slightly flared fenders the more aggressive wheel and tire combo and the badges of course the fourth car on the list is the bmw 335i whether it's the e90x or the f series platform the tuning potential for these cars are through the roof but in this video we are going to focus on the e90x models primarily the ones equipped with the twin turbo n54 engine they are a performance bargain it's so easy and cheap to get tons of power out of them without having to dig into the engine trust me i know because i myself own a e93 bmw 335i from factory the three liter straight six produces 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque which is plenty for most people that want a fun daily driver but let's just say that's not enough and you want to join the 400 horsepower club well it's very easy and cheap to achieve that with this car in fact the 335i may be one of the easiest cars out there to tune you don't need an expensive device nor do you need to inconvenience yourself by taking the 335i to a tuning shop all you need is an android device a decan obd2 cable and an mhd tuning application and you can gain up to 100 horsepower and over 100 pound feet of torque the tuning app itself costs 100 dollars for the tuning module and 50 dollars for the stage one flash that is meant for a stock motor that's pretty cheap that's pretty much one dollar and fifty cent per horsepower gain and believe it or not mhd tunes are pretty conservative as they want to keep the car just as reliable as it is when it's stock the reason tuning companies can get so much out of the n54 is because they come under tuned with lots of headroom to play with all tuning companies like mhd and jb4 do is untap the true potential of the 335i if you're willing to spend more than 150 bucks and take the route that i took you can buy an aftermarket front mount intercooler and catalyst downpipes and combine it with an mhd stage 2 plus tune and you'll end up with well over 450 horsepower and over 500 pound feet of torque crank and yes that's utilizing the stock turbos you upgrade those and you'll be well over supercar territory best part is that you can get a 335i nowadays for a very affordable price i was able to find many on auto tempest for less than ten thousand dollars also if you're interested in seeing me mod my bmw 335i i'll link the playlist of everything i've done to the car down in the description below last but not least is the nissan gtr this is a car that really doesn't need any tuning as it can achieve a 0 to 60 time in less than three seconds right off the gate funny thing is that nissan did not have tuning in mind when they released the nissan gtr a decade ago they were so sure no one would be able to break the ecu but man did they underestimate the tuners apparently imported models even had a section in the manual that emphasized disallowing illegal and unconventional modifications of the vehicle well let's see how that worked out there are several examples of gtrs producing well over 1200 horsepower heck you can even find some at the drag strip pushing over 2000 horsepower just like the skyline gtr of the past tuners saw the limitless potential of the r35 and went ham and now that the platform has been around for some time now tuning has been refined and documented to be optimal and the gtr itself is becoming more obtainable now price wise just like the other cars i mentioned on the list the gtr's 3.6 liter twin turbo engine comes under tuned from factory expect to gain around 40 wheel horsepower with just a tune which cobb offers for less than one thousand dollars modify the exhaust by adding a wide pipe with the tune to go with it and gains are around 80 to 100 horsepower to the wheels and what's really cool about the gtr unlike many of the other cars that i mentioned is that when you achieve higher performance number the gtr remains 
pretty controllable. I mean, that's no surprise since one of the biggest pros is the insane amount of grip and traction the GTR can achieve, thanks to its superb all-wheel drive system and hefty weight. Many auto journalists actually say that the Nissan GTR is one of the safest cars to drive fast for that reason. I was amazed to find them going for less than $50,000 with relatively low miles on Auto Tempest. Kind of makes sense why I'm starting to see them around more often. This is a car that can easily humble supercars, motorcycles on the drag strip, and even on the racetrack. Now it's your turn. What other car comes to mind that you think deserve to be on this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. That lets me know that you guys really enjoyed it, and it would encourage me to make more videos just like this in the future. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That way, you don't miss out on my next video. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.